Okay, let's practice on learning how to make equivalent fractions. Remember, the word equivalent means equal. It means the terms may not look the same, but they have the same value. We've talked about already four quarters and a dollar bill. They surely don't look the same, but they have the same meaning or value. In algebra, I could say half a dollar. I could say 50 cents. I could say it as a fraction half. I could say it as a decimal, five tenths. It doesn't look the same. It has the same value. The same thing in fractions. When we're going to go to add and subtract, one of the things we're going to learn is we're going to have to change the denominators to make them the same. Well, when you change that denominator, you're also going to have to change the numerator to keep balance, to keep the fractions equivalent, equal. Now, how do you go about finding out your new numerator? Well, the rule is, whatever you change the denominator, you're going to change the numerator the same way. And the way we make equivalent fractions is we do the operation multiplication. So the first thing we have to figure out is how the old denominator became the new denominator. What do we multiply by? So let's look, everybody. 5AB, the old denominator, became 30A to the fourth B squared. Okay, let's take it piece by piece. How does a 5 become a 30? Well, you multiply by 6. How does an A become an A to the fourth? Well, that's easy. You multiply by a cubed. How did a b become a b squared? All right, that's easy. You multiplied by b. So you're telling me if this was the old denominator, 5ab, and we take it and we multiply it by 6a cubed b, we would get our new denominator. Let's make sure we're right. 5 times 6 is 30. a times a cubed is a to the fourth. b times b is b squared. Good. Now that we know what we multiply the denominator by, to keep balance, we're going to multiply the numerator by the same amount. So we're going to have to take our numerator, x plus 6, and multiply it by this 6a cubed b. Now here's where we use everything we've been learning. This is a binomial times a monomial. And the way we multiply a binomial times a monomial is we do use our distributive property. Now I know what you're thinking. You don't see the parentheses. So, sweethearts, if you want to put the x plus 6 in parentheses and write the monomial in front, that's great. Let's go. What is 6a cubed b times x? That would be 6a cubed bx. What is 6a cubed b times another positive 6? Well, that would be positive 36a cubed b. And what you've done now is you've made your new numerator. These two fractions do not look the same, but they have the same value. They are equivalent. And that's important. If you change your denominator, you have to change your numerator. Now, this was easy because our denominators were monomials. They were already connected by multiplication. But what happens if your denominators are binomials or trinomials? For example, this denominator is 5x squared plus 15, and this denominator is 20x squared plus 60. It may not be easy to figure out what they multiplied to this denominator to get to this new one. So ladies and gentlemen, here again is where we use our skills. We know we can break any expression down by factoring. So let's factor. What is the GCF of 5x squared plus 15? It's a 5, and that would leave me with x squared plus 3. So that's really what your denominator is, your original denominator. If I have 20x squared plus 60, what's my GCF? That's right, the largest number is 20, and that would leave x squared plus 3. Now that your denominators are in factored form, it is so easy to see what we multiplied to the original to get to the new. If you look, What's inside the parentheses did not change. What changed is the coefficient 5 became the coefficient 20. And how does a 5 become a 20? That's right, we multiplied by 4. So if you had 5x squared plus 3 and you multiplied it by 4, 5 times 4 would be the 20x squared plus 3. Well, if you multiply the denominator by 4, 
then you have to multiply the numerator by 4. Again, you have a binomial times a monomial, which means you have to distribute. 5y times 4 is 20y. Negative 1 times 4 is negative 4. And there is your new numerator. You have just created equivalent fractions. Now, we're going to put all this information together, and we're finally ready to add and subtract fractions with unlike denominators. See you in the next video.